Hello everybody. So today I want to go through and walk you through a lot of throughs, <laughs> uh, working with arrays in JavaScript. And I plan to go through um, this table of contents, I'm basically going um, through from uh, intro to array to how to copy an array. And I might split this video into several parts. So if I do, please watch out. I'll make sure it's properly labeled. Uh, but let's get to let's get into it. Um, the very first thing is intro, intro to array in JavaScript. Um, arrays in JavaScript are data structure. Um, what is a data structure? A data structure is a way to organize data that makes it easier to work with in programming. If that doesn't make sense, don't worry. Um, data structure is a completely different topic, but really the takeaway now is, is a way to work with data in JavaScript. Um, Create, uh, so okay, so that is uh, completed. Let's make it as complete. So that's what an array is. Um, number two, create an array. Um, how do you create an array in JavaScript? Well, this is, there are several, there are at least two ways to create an array, okay? Um, we will consider the very first one. Okay, I think what I would do is, yeah, let me, let me do it here, okay? So, let's see, let me copy that, so that way we can easily organize this into uh, their separate headings. So, let's create an array. There are two ways. The first way is initializing is called the literal. Um, and this is basically what that means. So variable my array is equal to the square bracket uh, notation. So, excuse me, uh, that's double semi semicolon, that shouldn't be. Just one semicolon, and the semicolon is not required. Okay, so I just like to put them. So, what what did I do here? I declared a variable called my array, and I I initialize it uh, to an empty array. Um, what this basically means is that by having this square bracket notation, I have made this variable an array. Um, so that is the first uh, method of creating an array. Now, the second way to do that is variable my array to is equals to array with open and close bracket. So these two methods all create an empty array. And we could verify that. Um, let's, let me clear the console. Let me console.log. Basically, let me show you how that would look like. So the first one is my my array and then the second one and I don't have to do double console.log uh, but just so um, I'm a little organized here my array 2 semicolon so um, 
when you look at the console, this is basically the console, and you notice that my array um, is an empty array. And then my array 2 is also an empty array. So that is how to initialize an array. All right, let's close the console and see what. Uh, okay, so we are done with uh, creating an array. Uh, the next is access an array item using the index position. 